Kumari ya di di kulinga na nondo na na ida kwa i me kwa rangi da ba munda na nono kulinga na no yundo nzebe yili na mbwa ndo no yee di kwa na tewe kwa rangi ndo na guna imo ba munda na ndiuma inta ni ni me to munda wa e kwa tayi na kano ida tu lagi ni ni ne mi na ngala me la ni na ligi ndi kwa na ida kutioka na di ni ni nyoka na kuyo ndo alangi me udumu na nono angi na na di di na mondo mnyunda yoy yili ba ingwa ge no me to kwa ra. Para <laughs> Zine ya vindu jie, nundu vinda yitu. Ithine tuwa ketha mwe, tuka ketha mwe mba, malenge. Ngina mbemba, mbuwa ni ya uwa. Ende yu, mbuwa ni ya thelile, kila kibo ni uwa. No, mbuwa ni miyade la yiko. Niko uyu kumere kuma kwa ndi yini tuwa minwa ninza. The issue of uh, climate change from, from the experts and from what we have seen as a mature organization is that it is here with us, that this is going to happen. It is con going to continue, maybe even become worse. So for us as communities, as farmers, as pastoralists, then we have to adapt and find out ways that will make us survive more. The old ways of doing things are not going to work. The old seasons that we know are not going to work. So we have to trust in science. Yes. So where are they coming from? Mostly the air. Because of all these issues around climate change and the way the weather is changing, the numbers are growing. We were looking at, uh, in the last three, four years, we've been looking at an average of about 200 to 200,000 to two, about 300,000 uh, in, in totality of households needing food aid. But I can assure you that if the situation continues as it is, even as we go back now, as we expect the short uh, rains assessments uh, results to come out, I am 100% sure that my number of beneficiaries, people looking up and needing support will increase because of the situation as it is because they are not able to feed themselves. The same farms are not able to produce the same amount of food that they have been able to produce in the past. As we sit here today we are looking at four consecutive failed uh, rain seasons 
with, for communities that are already impoverished. So kindly, we would, uh, on behalf of these communities, we need a lot of help. We need actions, more actions than talk right now. There's a lot of commitments that have been made from way back in the Kyoto pro um, Protocol to, to all of these issues around disaster risk reduction that we, are actually, we now are begging. Um, that we look at what is happening on the ground before we lose more lives and continue threatening the livelihoods of people.